part nine of how to make a cast net. This will be tying in your lead line. So, so you got your horn all tied in. Looks all good. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you want to do is measure your net. This one will come down nine foot four. It's nine feet four inches. And then you open it up to spread the diameter. It'll be 18 foot eight inches. So that lets you know, you times that by pi, 3.14. That gives you the radius, how far around it is, the net, which comes out to 58 and a half foot. But I only found a 50 foot rope. I'll be using, it's only 3 sixteenths, it's really small. I'll burn the end a little bit. I already put, which come out, then you want to find out how many leads you need. So what you do is you find your, find your, find a widener. You know you got 16 of them the way around the net. Count from the loop or not underneath that widener all the way around to the next widener adding one of those wideners and that gives you the number times that by 16 gives you the number of stuff around come out like 380 something or whatever divide that by four that gave me 92 leads so I'll be using two different kinds I got ounce and an ounce and a half First thing you want to do, burn the end of your rope a little bit so you can get it through all these legs. I already put them on. Get about halfway through. And then you want to squeeze down a pair of channel locks or pliers or whatever you got. Make sure you get it on there. This will be your first lead. Okay, so I already tied off. What you want to do? I'll start right there. Come down about an inch and a half. And you want to use your thumb over to measure. Just bust it out. Check out where that's at. Alright, I'm going as close as I can to the lead under it with a half hitch. And if you want to get a little closer, you can. Now you want to switch it up and go the opposite direction. Same thing, another half hitch. And you can double up your line, a lot of people do, for this bottom, for your lead line. And use a bigger rope. This is the longest one I could find at the time. Like I said, you can use up to a half inch half inch diameter lead line. It's hard to get the leads through it, but finish it up with a full hitch. I should give you three loops around. So since you divided it by four, you want to go around. You can use your thumb board for this too, if you wish. It's easier just to do it by hand. And the best way to do this is spread the net out fully on the ground. Take your rope and lead lines, walk all the way around it. But you can do it hanging up like this also, once you practice a little bit. So basically you want to put three loops at the bottom, three meshes, which will only be half meshes really. Like so. Before you put your next lead. Remember, your half hitches just mix them up on the bottom. And finish up with a full hitch. And like I said, you can double up on your line if you want. And I'm not going to put this one in yet. I'd put three of those and then another lead since you divided it by four. And that would give you your finished product all the way around. When you get back, just cut your roof off, burn it in, smush this other lead down, and you're good to go. So uh, thank you. Next one will be uh, putting your tuck strings and handline on, and that'll be it. Appreciate it, everyone, for watching. See you.